Hi again. Today we'll have another short Q&A session. We'll be looking at Fibaro flood sensor. So let's waste no more time and jump right into our questions. What features comparing to battery mode flood sensor offers in DC powering mode? In DC powering mode, you do not have to wake up your sensor. In fact, parameters responsible for configuration and associations will be sent when necessary. But what is more important, now your flood sensor can serve as a signal repeater. This means that if you are trying to place it in a room in which your mesh network barely reaches, let's say your basement or garage, now you can set up additional sensors because flood sensor will extend the range of your current network. I removed the battery and connected constant current power supply. Now the sensor is invisible for my Fibaro system. Why? Powering mode configuration takes place exactly when your flood sensor is being added to your Z-Wave network. In order for this powering mode to apply, what you have to do is first of all, exclude your flood sensor from your Z-Wave network, then you need to connect constant current power supply, that's 12 or 24 volts DC, and connect it with the proper terminals. Here's a tip how to do that. Now you can include, once again, your flood sensor to your Z-Wave network. Now, while you do not need the battery for this powering mode to run, well, there is a good reason why you should keep the battery. And that brings us to our next question. May the battery serve as an emergency power source? Yes, when constant power fails, the device will automatically switch to your battery. This means that all reports regarding temperature and flood will be sent immediately. However, it won't be possible to adjust any parameters responsible for configuration and associations. That is, until the power is restored. I have replaced the battery because Fibaro interface signaled its low state, but I still see red blinking battery icon. How to reset the battery level? This report is sent at the same time as your device is going to wake up. So you can either wait a specific period of time for it to happen automatically, or you can perform the process manually by clicking three times the TMP button. And now our last question. May I switch powering modes freely? No, you can't do that. As discussed in one of the previous questions, we know that Every time you want to switch from one powering mode to another, you need to include and exclude your device. Every single time. I hope you enjoyed our quick Q&A session. Let us know what you think about the series. Please do leave us a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.